loss, one draw, with 15 knockouts. He is currently ranked number two by the World Boxing Association and World Boxing Council, and number four by the International Boxing Federation of the World. The former Canadian heavyweight champion, a native of Jamaica, West Indies, and now residing in Toronto, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the challenger, Donovan Razor Rodak. Rodak. And his opponent in the red corner, wearing the white trunks. He weighed in at an even 240 pounds. Now this gentleman has 41 wins, two losses, two draws, with 27 knockouts. He is currently ranked number four by the World Boxing Association and the World Boxing Council, and number five by the International Boxing Federation of the World. The former World Boxing Association heavyweight champion, a native of Akron, Ohio, and now residing in Miami Beach, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Michael Dynamite Dukes! Dukes! Quite a reception for Michael Dukes, who appears to be all business, Gil. Boy, Sam. He's been, what a mean face, that would scare me, and he's been staring at Redick, probably been walking around the ring, I don't know whether he's scared or not, it would scare me. Let's keep you cool, my friend! Scheduled for 12. For the WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight Championship, but more importantly, a showdown, and almost what you might call an elimination on, bout let's go. Let's to go. get in line for a title shot. Well, Sam, you have to give both of these guys credit. There's so much at stake. And unlike the, the current uh, way of thinking about boxing, once they get up in position, they don't want to fight any, anybody. Here are these two guys, two top flight contenders, fighting each other. Give them both a lot of credit. Ruddick in at 2.30. And looks good. And Dokes, even though at 2.40, doesn't look all that bad, Gil. Legs look strong. Upper body looks pretty firm. I'm looking for Dokes to throw that right here counter over at Ruddick's jab. Another advantage that Dokes has in this fight, he's been through this pressure many, many times before. Ruddick, good left hook by Ruddick. Solid left, solid left hook. Razor Ruddick with a large following down from Canada. Reporters, friends, the Canadian, family. Canadian ambassador is here, Sam. Canadian ambassador to the United Nations, I believe. It's Guy Fortier in attendance. Razor Ruddick born in Jamaica. Lives in Toronto. He's been working in Florida. Training in Fort Lauderdale. And Ruddick has a beautiful build for heavyweight season. As we've mentioned, he seems to have it all. But again, he's throwing out that lazy left jab. He has to snap that jab. Looks like Ruddick loading up, looking for a big punch. I'm waiting to see if Ruddick's going to use that right hand, Sam. So far, he hasn't. Dokes well known for his hand speed. And the fact that he can pull his punches together. There's Great short, short left hook. But Ruddick cannot afford to get inside with dynamite Dokes. Dokes is too experienced for a Razor Ruddick inside. Dokes picked off that jab. Again, Ruddick loading up with the left hook. measuring for the right hand but doesn't throw I don't think the Dokes isn't looking to throw that right hand over Ruddick's left hand shark jab by Ruddick End of the first round. 
the 77th Grey Cup game. The most thrilling sports event of 1989, as chosen by the Canadian Press Broadcasters News Poll of sports writers and broadcasters. Now, you can enjoy all the excitement, all the thrills, a season to remember, only from quality special products. The regular season, the playoffs, the spectacular, the exciting, the victories, the setbacks, all in one incredible video. A season to remember, available only through quality special products, in stores now. I think the key to this fight is for Ruddick to keep folks on the outside. But again, he's going to have to use that light right hand. He's not going to be able to beat folks, at least I don't think, with one hand. But you know, the fact that he did nail Dokes with that left hook makes Dokes susceptible to the face. I've seen him flinch already in this round when, when Ruddick... And again, he lands the left hook that rocks Michael Dokes. where Dokes will be most effective with those hooks to the body. They want him to work the body and bring those arms down. And still, no right hands from Ray to Ruddick. Not a one. And you know, when he lands that big left hook, if he threw a right hand behind it, might be an early night. This is not the way for Ruddick to fight Dokes. He's not going to outsmart him. Shot jab. Boy, every time Ruddick lands a punch, you can see the effect it has on Michael Dokes. He winces. He feels the effect. Big, strong young man. That left hook was a little slow and a little wide. Sam, you have to set up the hook. You've got to throw right hand, even if it's just to set up the other punches. This is where Ruddick does not belong on the inside. You know, that, Ray, that short left hook that stunned Razor Ruddick. He's a little shaken by it. Dokes opening up. Sharp left. Doesn't belong inside, Sam. This time he backs Dokes up at the end of the round. Second time in the fight that Ruddick has finished the round big. With a big punch. Ladies and for two rounds we watched the one-handed fight yeah. it, I believe I picked up James Morton talking there's the right hand by right hand. Hand. a straight right hand that rocked Dokes back but I thought they talked about saving it till late in the round but now he's using it early again Sam even if he didn't land the right hand it gives Dokes something else to look at Makes, makes the left hand more effective, but he has to throw that right hand. Don't slip. But if he would have nailed, if he would have nailed Ruddick with that counter, Sam, I think it would be an early night. Now, Ruddick, very effective, fainting now. Now that he's thrown a couple of right hands, He's trying, to get, has to respect it. he's trying to get folks out with one shot, though, Sam. The punches are a little wide. With a 
that foot to the body by yeah. Dokes. See, he can't stay inside with Dokes. No question about that. He's got to stay outside. Got to use those legs, use that mobility. Here's that counter by Dokes again. And another good left hook to the body. Why Ruddick's inside, I'll never tell you. Ruddick looking for an uppercut, but missed. See, there's the chance we could drop that right hand into that into that double jab. He threw a straight right hand and a right uppercut. And Ruddick comes back strong. Dokes was wide open for that counter left hook, but it just missed. And I just do not understand why Ruddick isn't using his superior mobility. Another good left hook to the body. Good left hook by Ruddick. Two good left hooks by Ruddick. Solid punches. Sharp jab. Ruddick lands the right hand. That hurt Dokes. And another one. He's hurt, Sam. Dokes is hurt. Now Ruddick gives himself a little room. But he does it, and it's Dokes coming back. That pussy razor. I just don't understand Ruddick's strategy. Had him hurt, all he had to do was give himself a little room, wing another right hand. He's willing to stay in close for Dokes. And Dokes with the short punches is much more effective than running and it's been much more effective on the inside time lies mute i have to fight dead even sam thanks dan ahead, Gil, I think. I gave him all three rounds, though I thought all three were very, very close. Oh, good counter right by Dokes. Right now, Ruddick is fighting the wrong fight, not using his legs at all. performance by Razor Ruddick. This is the best young heavyweight prospect I've seen in years, Sam. Strong, good hard puncher. Two left hooks knocked out Michael Dokes. He is down right in front of us and out cold. Two doctors are in the ring. Razor Ruddick with one left hook that sent Dokes to the Second bottom strand of the ropes, and the second one knocked out Michael Dokes. They're trying to get Michael Dokes to turn around and lie down. I think he is conscious now. Now you can see him. Unbelievable finish. Sam, I just said he's fighting the wrong fight. But he knew the kind of fight he was, he was fighting. fighting the right fight. Sam, the power in that left hook. And I think if there's one thing we didn't expect, it was that Michael Dokes would go out in that fashion. Well, Sam, Michael Dokes has one of the best chins in boxing. That's why this is such an impressive performance. He's a big, young, strong, mobile guy. They want to know where the next heavyweight champion is coming from. You may be looking at him. This is the man who so badly wanted to fight Mike Tyson in Edmonton in November. Tyson pulled out of that fight. The Rudder Camp Field because they found out that they had too much on their hands and thought they could get a softer touch in Buster Douglas. Well, for him to be able to pull out of that fight, it's okay to be ill, but when you get well, you're supposed to fight the guy that you signed the fight, not just pass him by. This kid, you have to give him all the credit in the world. Went in that ring, was ranked number two in the world, took a chance on his ranking, everything else, but he had confidence in his ability, and so did Murad Muhammad, his promoter. Wow. Great performance. Donovan Razor Ruddick knocks out Michael Dokes right, in the let, fourth round. Let's take, let's take a look at this, Sam. There's the first left hook. That wobbles him back pretty good. He's hurt now, standing up, and, and he missed the right hand, but he threw it with everything he could. There's that left hook oh. again. And look at this, One Sam. More. Oh, man. He was out after the second left hook. 
And the third one put him down and out for the night. Sam, well, we mentioned if he throws that right hand, even if he misses it, here's the left hook. Now watch him throw the right hand, Sam. See, he misses it, shifts all his weight out to his left foot, and there goes those devastating left hooks. What a performance. Face the jab. It's that left, left uppercut. It's a, this is the right hand back with the hook and here comes the here comes the coup de grace and as we said all along look at the power and the force generated by razor ruddock when he throws his punches phenomenal now the concern is for michael dokes in the corner well they have the oxygen in the ring now sam with a great medical staff here in new york razor ruddock in jubilation after the victory, now Michael Dokes still down, two doctors in attendance. He is conscious, he has been talking with the doctors, but they have not moved him. Look at my finger, Mike. Look over here. Look over. And this, of course, is a very serious and delicate moment as uh, they're giving him the oxygen now Sam the medics are in there there is tremendous concern for the brave fighter Michael Dokes who's come so far back in his battle to overcome drug addiction to take nothing away from this man Razor Ruddock well, Sam, they're no longer giving him the oxygen. I think he uh, said he was okay. Well, he is conscious. He is talking with the doctors. I think he wants to try to sit up. What a stunning finish. And now you see Michael Dokes trying to sit up, and that is a great sign. Michael Dokes is knocked out. A stunning finish. He is conscious. But he was rocked by three left hooks from Razor Ruddock. And Razor Ruddock now puts himself right in line for a title shot. All right, now let me ask you this question, Sam. Could it be that he looked too good? You think maybe a Buster Douglas or Mike Tyson may look at this guy and say, hey, forget about him. I'm going to well, I'm gonna circumvent him. Well, I think what he does is establishes himself as a big money fighter. I think you can say, wait a second. Well, Mike this Tyson. Is a, this is a big money fight for, for any champion. If, if Douglas successfully defends, if Holyfield should go on and win a title, this is a... The number one contender right now, it, behind Evander Holyfield. I, Holyfield, I fully expect, will get the next shot. But I think this is the next man right there. Does Mike Tyson take a chance on Razor Ruddock? No. <laughs> I wouldn't. I don't manage Mike Tyson, but uh, it's a fight I'd like to see. Oh, it would be a great fight. I think if he were champion, then he would... Uh, here we go in against the Razor Ruddock. Michael Dokes now, I think, uh, extremely disappointed. I, he is conscious. He seems to be okay. But I think you can see the disappointment. I thought he was fighting well for the first three rounds. He was fighting well, and it looked to me like he was setting setting Ruddock up for those counter punches, trying to make Ruddock reach. And inside, when he would throw a punch, Dokes would counter back with that left hook, and he did hurt Ruddock with that one left hook. Remember early, that first time Ruddock landed that left hook at the end of the first round, I believe. Again, it was a feint. Dokes dropped his hands and got tagged with a left hook. The same thing happened here. Right. Beginning to and lead Sam, him to the knockdown. You mentioned that every time that Ruddick hit him, whether it was with a jab or whatever he hit him with, you could see the surprise on Dokes' face. Like to say, my God, this kid has yeah. power. I think, and does he have power? I think you, you can't, you can't really feel the power that this man has until that that punch lands. There isn't as uh, good enough understanding of the power he has. Thank you. Uh, He's still and the now, jab. Yes, he is. The fighter's I okay. That's Marty Cohen. Michael Dokes seems to be okay. Bill Slayton, the trainer of Michael Dokes. And that's the best sign of all. And there's the winner, Donovan Razor Ruddick. 
You know enough to keep medications out of... Ladies and gentlemen, the time of this bout, 53 seconds of the fourth round, and the winner by a knockout, and the brand new WBA Intercontinental Heavyweight Champion, Donovan Razor Ruddock. Ruddock. And a nice round of applause for Michael Dynamite Dokes. Let's hear it all. Dejection on the part of Michael Dokes, because certainly he has to consider his future now. But for Razor Ruddock, a bright prospect, because all that's ahead of him now is what he hopes will be a chance at the title within a year. Razor Ruddock, left hook, rocks Dokes. He missed the right hand, but here's the left that really knocks him out. At this point, Dokes is out. One more left hook. And he's down and finished. Again. The jab with a fake, and then the quick left hand, a very quick. The second left hook right on the chin. And one more finishes off Michael Dokes. Tremendous power on a fighter who was perhaps fighting one-handed. Very few right hands thrown throughout the fight by Razor Ruddock. But Razor Ruddock has knocked out Dynamite Dokes. 